Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Jaycoon Presents. I've been hard at work trying to compile everything and uh, writing the script and everything for the next big upcoming video, but this is turning out to be a lot more work than I expected it to. So if I want it done correctly and want to have a good product, uh, not only that I can be happy with, but that will entertain all of you. I'm going to need more time to work on it. So, in the meantime, I figured I would do like just like a small mini video, just kind of to tie to every uh, body over and everything. And uh, what I'm going to go ahead and talk about and all that wonderful stuff is uh, VaporCon. That was just this past weekend in Richmond, Virginia. Basically, it's an electronic cigarette trade show. A bunch of different vendors from all over the country came over to uh, show off new products and promote sales and all that wonderful stuff. And I got to go down there for a little bit. So what this episode is going to consist of is just all the different little toys and stuff that I got from the convention. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get that started. And the first thing I'm going to show off is this chrome drip tip with a skull on it. And that was from EmpireMods.com. Um, it was about five dollars. And overall, like I got it because hey, it's a skull. It looks awesome. Um, it does fit rather well in the mouth. Like you. So I mean, it, it feels comfortable in the mouth. The only problem I really have with it is, if you can see. It's very, very wobbly. It doesn't feel like it fits firmly into the tank. Like, you can see this one. There's no movement whatsoever other than my finger. So that's one of the things that bugs me about it. And I'm afraid that with this chrome finish on it, that it's eventually going to chip and it's not going to look as good as it used to. I don't know if y'all can see that all that well. But this is one of the metal drip tips that I normally use. And you can kind of see it chipping along the bridge and everything where it's usually in my mouth. Um, but other than that, I think it looks awesome. And it definitely feels comfortable in my mouth when I puff on it and all that wonderful junk. But um, that was the, the drip tip I got. And then uh, one of the guys from madvapes.com actually gave this to me. He also gave it to Grim Green, if you ever check out his videos. This is the Vision Eternity Rebuildable Modular Atomizer. And uh, let's get that off real quick, because that actually goes in here. And what it is, it's a multi-piece atomizer that can be done in several different ways like you have the the wick assembly right there for standard atomizers or dripping or anything like that and then you have this needle looking one right here in case using a tea tank is uh your preferred vape and it's uh completely rebuildable it also has the replacement wicks right there this didn't cost me a dime and uh i think they were just promoting a new product but I haven't really had a lot of time to fiddle with that yet, but it's it's kind of cool that they gave it to me. And then uh, on to my juice flavors before I get over to the big one that I really want to talk about. Uh, Juicy Vapor, uh, they're one of the uh, companies I order from quite a bit. They do two of my favorite flavors, Dragon's Blood and Ectoplasma. Dragon's Blood, it's... Um, a mixture of like several different types of berries and a menthol flavor so that I really enjoy that flavor and then ectoplasma is actually designed after the recipe of high seas ecto cooler if anybody remembers um, way back in the day I know like I had it in my lunchbox constantly you were a kid Ghostbusters the cartoon was still big so they did everything they could to promote the crap out of it and one of the things that they did was a high C drink in a juice box and it had Slimer on the front and the oranges and everything and it was called Ecto Cooler. Ecto Plasma tastes exactly like Ecto Cooler. It is amazing. Uh, this next bottle right here is from Namber Blue Ribbon. This was actually one of the bottles that uh, Grim Green was selling. The problem is 
I don't know what flavor this is. Um, giving it a smell real quick. It definitely has a vanilla uh, vanilla esque smell to it. Um, actually, I think I have it in this tank right here. Let's give that a quick puff and see if we can try and figure out the flavor. Hard to tell what it kind of flavor it's supposed to be, but it's it's very sweet. It's definitely not menthol or tobacco-y. I mean, it, it doesn't taste bad. It's just, I can't really figure out what the hell it is. Then I have a couple smaller bottles. Uh, one of them here from uh, Rar Vapor. This is just a uh, standard raspberry flavor. Then I have three more bottles here from Niquid.com. I don't know if y'all can see that all that well. This thing has a bad problem with autofocusing. But uh, there are various type of menthol flavors. We have a cherry menthol, an apple menthol, and then just a straight menthol. Now, uh, the next bottle I got, I actually wound up getting three bottles of this because I thought, like, that number one, it tasted good, and two, the name was hilarious. And this is from uh, Eminent Vapor. And I'm, I'm not even going to bother putting it up to the camera. You can't see it. It's a menthol and a blue raspberry flavor. But the guy was talking to me about it. And he said he couldn't really figure out a name for it. So he just used where he was from and called it New Jersey Tap Water. Uh, on that premise alone, got me laughing. I thought it was hilarious. So I went ahead and bought it. Liked it. And then went and bought two more bottles. But uh, the final piece that I got... I have been wanting one of these for a very long time. It's um, it's a mod, and uh, you know, well, you already caught a glimpse of it. So there it is. This looks like a regular soda can, but this soda can is actually an e-cigarette. <laughs> um, these are can mods. Uh, Pink Spot sells them. Um, Vaporheads is now going to be selling them. They run at about $80. Uh, it's a 6 volt uh, electronic cigarette and for the most part it just looks like a soda can until like okay you have the button right there and then the straw here is actually glass and then you press it and it also lights up so that's really cool. And then on the inside you have your cartomizer tank because that's my preferred way to vape. And then the battery outlet is actually right there and it has a, a plug inside the can that uh, sets everything up. And this runs on two um, 123A batteries. And um, a lot of people will say that that type of battery doesn't last very long, but I've had this thing last me almost an entire day before I had to charge the batteries. These run at about $80. It, it's definitely not a mod I would take anywhere with me at all, but um, it's definitely a stay-at-home personal vaporizer. But I'm really glad that I have one, and um, I, I've been vaping the crap out of it ever since I got it. So, <laughs> But that's pretty much all the, uh, the fun stuff that I got from VaporCon. I definitely had a blast being there. Um, it's nothing fancy compared to a lot of the other conventions that I do, but it's something nice, quiet, very sociable, very easy to talk to everybody, and everybody's there for the exact same reason. So it's real easy to strike up conversation, type of, um, that type of stuff, unlike an anime convention, where everybody could be there for a different reason. But overall, I had a blast, and on top of that, it was free to get in, so that was a definite, definite plus. Um... But uh, I do believe they'll be doing it again next year. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to wait and see what the dates are. But if you're interested in getting into electronic cigarettes or you're already into electronic cigarettes and just want to meet some people that um, kind of like you have the same type of hobby, I definitely recommend checking it out. But that's really all I got for right now. I know this is a short video. It's nothing what I usually do. But hopefully this is enough to kind of tide everybody over until the big video is ready. So thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.